Today's adventure starts at the little castle. No magic day. Bedtime, Princess Holly. Into your pyjamas. Yes, Nanny Plum. Clothes into pyjamas. Let's just magic you into bed and magically brush your hair. Ah, magic is so nice. What would we do without magic? Elves don't have magic. Elves are crazy. They don't even like talking about magic. Magic, magic, magic. Tomorrow is the day. What happens tomorrow, wise old elf? Once in a blue moon, the fairy's magic stops working. Stops working? Yes, for a whole day, from sunrise to sunset. It will be no magic day. Why? Nobody knows why. Only that when the moon is blue, the magic does not work. Ooh, fairies without magic. For a whole day. <coughs> Morning time. Pajamas into clothes. Oh, my wand's not working. Daddy! Daddy! My wand isn't working! Neither is mine! Mine isn't either! Wandy, wandy! Oh, the magic stopped! How am I supposed to get dressed without magic? We'll just have to dress the old-fashioned way, using our hands. Our hands? Do calm down, dear. Let's just have some breakfast while we think about what to do. You're right. Nanny Plum, magic up some breakfast. Certainly, Your Majesty. Zibbity zabbity zob. Oh, I forgot. My wand doesn't work. What's going on? Why isn't there any magic? Happy No Magic Day. Eh? What? Don't you know? Every blue moon, it's No Magic Day. Oh, of course. <laughs> yes. And I see you're all still in your pyjamas. Had any breakfast? No. <laughs> you see, children, when fairies don't have magic, they can't do anything. Have you just come to laugh at us, wise old elf? Yes. <laughs> I've a good mind to turn you into a frog. Be my guest. Abracadabra. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, children, the fairy wands don't work today. Holly, would you like us to help? Oh, thanks, Ben. We, we can, can all help. help. <laughs> Happy No Magic Day. Bye. Normally, I wave my wand and warm water appears in the bath with lots of lovely bubbles. Have you tried the taps? Taps? Oh, so that's what those things are for. Put your feet in your shoes and you're dressed without magic. And this is how you brush your hair. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> I'm going to do the washing up without magic. We'll help you, Nanny Plum. Oh, thank you. Elves are good at washing up. And we're elves. <laughs> this is how you turn the television on. And the weather in the Little Kingdom today will be bright and sunny everywhere. Oh, very good. And this works like this. How clever. Happy No Magic Day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine, of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. 
We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're elves! <laughs> There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch. But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day. Remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well, nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's mud. Mud? No, it's mud. Mustard? M Marshmallows? M M Melted cheese? M M M M M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes, but it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course, the emergency power. But that's just a hamster wheel. It is the emergency power unit. All elves on the hamster wheel will power the factory by foot. Can we help? Good idea, Holly. But, Your Majesty, this is elf work, not fairy work. We're all in it together. You helped us this morning. Now we can help you. All for one and one for all. Yeah, I suppose. Thank you, everyone. The Elf Factory is working again! Hooray! Let's hope we get these toys done in time. Yes! The day is nearly over. Ah! The magic is back and the Elf Engine is working again. Everyone off the hamster wheel! Ah! I'm glad the elf engine is working again. Don't you mean the secret magic engine? Ha! Ah. So now we know. Elves do do magic sometimes. Well, at least we don't need magic to get dressed. <laughs> Let's hear you laugh when I turn you into a frog. Not today, Nanny Plum. It is no magic day, remember? Uh, wise old elf, no magic day is over. Eh? Oh. Abracadabra. Ah, oh, good. The magic is back. 
And the factory is working again. And the wise old elf is a frog. Everything is back to normal. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf farm. Nanny Plum, where's breakfast? So sorry, Your Majesty, but the elves haven't delivered the food yet. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra! Uh, boiled eggy. <laughs> That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Food delivery. What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato... Small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> 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 What's that buzzing noise? I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Well, well. <laughs> Hello, wise old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Stand clear! Carrot coming up! Yee-ho! 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 Wow! Oh, hello, Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Ooh. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic. You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow! Push, 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 push. That's amazing! <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the tomato plants. Ooh! These are the tomato plants. Wow! I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. 
Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, if only we could find a way to get rid of them. Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. Tomato. That looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job. That's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. <laughs> Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, Princess Holly! These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa. Catch that chicken! Follow that chicken. Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Holly! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Lally Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mmm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum. Could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? 
Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Spies. Look what came in the post. An invitation to the boating carnival. Ooh, I love the boating carnival. All the boats sailing on the river with music and dancing. But King and Queen Marigold always make fun of my boat. Oh. King and Queen Marigold are so snooty. Well, maybe the Marigolds won't be coming this year. Hello? Oh, hello, King Marigold. Thistle, old boy. Are you coming to the boating carnival? We've got an amazing boat this year. Oh, well, I've got an amazing boat too. Really? I can't wait to see it. Cheerio! Those marigolds are such show-offs. This time, our boat will be better than theirs. What boat is that, Your Majesty? Ah, uh, the boat you're going to build me. Me? Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... El I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense! Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it. Just build me a boat. So... How are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool. Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big. Just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies. Back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur. Well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra. Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Me! 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 Barnaby Elf. You will be our spy, but first, you must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand, and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. Hello. Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no. It's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to Bamboo, everyone. Hello, Bamboo. Look, we're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is bigger. Ooh. You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops, I mean... Bamboo, do I know you from somewhere? No. Well, I'd better be going. It was nice to meet you. Bye! Mission accomplished. 
I found out all about the fairy's Viking boat. What's it like? It's big, bigger than ours. Then we'll start again. We'll make the biggest Viking boat ever. Yes, wise old elf. You weren't discovered, were you, Barnaby? No, they never suspected. I know where I've seen Bamboo before. He was Barnaby in disguise. <gasps> the elves are spying on us. That's outrageous. But didn't we spy on them? That was different. We thought of spying first. So now the elves know all about our boat. Fine. We'll just find out more about theirs. Strawberry, you can be our spy. All right. You need to look like an elf. Bye-bye, wings. Hello, ears. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect! Vikings, Vikings, Vikings Brave and strong and true Sailing in our Viking boats Across the sea so blue <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front that breathes fire! Are you sure it looks right? Hmm, maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> what an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? <laughs> it looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Everyone, have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. <laughs> And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. Oh, what's that noise? Hello. Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? 
It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. Well, thank you. It is the finest boat in the whole carnival. Hooray! <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. Daisy and Poppy. Today, we'll be having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practising their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! 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 Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. <laughs> I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Give Mummy your wand. <coughs> I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> So, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hidey, hidey! The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> so, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny rabbit. Now, now, Daisy, that wasn't very nice. Bunny rabbit. <laughs> What's going on? Bunny rabbit. What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we've found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty. Meow. <coughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow. <coughs> <laughs> Birdy Wordy. Birdy Wordy. <coughs> Phew. Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, <coughs> oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. 
tiger, tiger, alligator, crocodile. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Hard times. Food delivery. Oh, hello, Mr. Elf. Lovely day. It certainly is. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Come up. Mr. Elf is kind delivering our food. Yes. Where would we be without elves? No idea, Your Majesty. Cheerio, Mr. Elf. Um, uh... Is there something else? No. Well, yes. I was just wondering if you could pay us today. Pay you? Yes. You haven't paid us any money for ages. Oh, right. How much do we owe you? Um, 492 gold coins. Gosh, that's a lot. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just get some money, won't we, Nanny? Money doesn't grow on trees, Holly. No? No! It grows in the magic money chest. Oh, there's only one coin in it. One coin is all we need. I throw it into the magic money chest. <laughs> it sounds like popcorn. Don't lift the lid up until it stops. Gold coins. Wow! Can I have a go? All right. I'll just empty the chest. Now, Ben, throw the coin in. But I haven't got a coin. You made them all disappear. Oh, without a coin, we can't make money. Um, I've got a button. Perhaps that will work. <laughs> it's doing its popcorn thing. Oh, it's full of buttons. Nanny, can you buy things with buttons? Mr. Elf, would it be OK to pay you in buttons? Uh, no. The magic money chest broken? Yes, Your Majesty. For some reason, it's just making buttons. And we need to pay Mr. Elf. Don't worry, Holly. I'll sort this out. Ah, this is embarrassing. But the thing is, we're a bit short of money today. No reason to be embarrassed, Your Majesty. No reason at all. Sorry and all that. No, no. Please don't give it another thought. Good. When you get some money, let me know. And I'll bring the food right back. Bye. Oh, bye. I've good news and bad news. What's the bad news? The bad news is there is no good news. Mr. Elf's taken breakfast away. And all because we don't have any silly money. What's money for? I'm not really sure, Holly. But the elves seem to like it. Couldn't you fix the magic money chest, Daddy? It's not broken. We just need a gold coin to throw in. Who's got one? That's the problem, dear. Nobody's got one. So... How do we get a gold coin? My dad gets paid gold coins for doing his job. Really? Could you do a job, Daddy, and get a gold coin? I suppose I could give it a try. What sort of job will you get, Daddy? I'm not sure. I must be good at lots of things. I'm the king. Ah, wise old elf. I'm looking for a job. <laughs> Very funny, Your Majesty. No, I'm serious. I need to earn a gold coin. I see. Normally, you'd have to go to the Elf Job Centre and answer lots of questions. But in your case... No, no. I command you to treat me like anyone else. Yes, sire. Name? The King. Mr King. What was your last job? The King. The King. Any skills? Being King. Mm. We don't have a king job right now. Um, we need a toy factory worker, or a farmer, or a sailor. Ooh, Daddy, sailor sounds fun. Yes, I like messing about in boats. You will be a sailor on our brand new ship, Your Majesty. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble sailor. But we need a king to launch our new ship. Oh, all right then. I'll just be a king for a moment. I declare this ship launched. Hurrah! Now treat me like any new sailor. OK. You can mop the deck. Right. You're doing very well, Daddy. It's rather dull. 
Why don't I speed things up with some magic? No, Daddy. The elves don't like magic. <sighs> Your job looks fun. Let's swap. Of course, Your Majesty. Much better. Oh, this is fun. Where to starboard? Which way starboard? Why can't they just say left or right? We've hit a rock! Abandon ship! Hello, Your Majesty. How's everything going? Very well. But that ship wasn't strong enough. Have you got another one? Maybe you're not cut out to be a sailor, Your Majesty. What other jobs did the elf lady say I could do? The toy factory, Daddy. That would be fun. It's the king! Hooray! I'm not the king today. I'm just a humble factory worker like you lot. But we need a king to inspect the toys. OK, I'll be king for a second. <coughs> it's perfect. Right, now I'm just a humble factory worker again. What do I do? Press this button and out comes the gloop. What about something a bit more interesting? Making the toys? Uh, no, Your Majesty. The painting? Perhaps not. The packing? No. Today you are the gloop elf. Very good, Daddy. I think I'm really getting the hang of this. Don't go so fast, Daddy! What? Go faster! All right! How are you getting on, Your Majesty? <laughs> Perhaps you're not suited to factory work, Your Majesty. What was the last job on the list? Working on the farm, Daddy. The King has a right to start our harvest dance. Hooray! I'm not the King today. I'm here to do farm work. But it's our holiday. Not when there's work to be done. You heard the king. Back to work. Oh. Righto, what do I do? This pumpkin needs watering, so it'll grow nice and big. It's not growing. It takes a long time, King Thistle. Weeks and weeks. Hmm. Let's speed it up with a little magic. No, Daddy. That'll help it grow. Wow! That's a big pumpkin. It's still growing! It's not going to stop! Ah! The pumpkin's going to explode! Right. Well, that's as good a time as any to finish my day's work. How many gold coins have I earned? For being a sailor, you earned one gold coin. But for sinking the ship, we'll have to take it back. For working in the factory, you earned one gold coin. But for causing a duck flood, we'll have to take it back. And for working on the farm, you earned one gold coin. But for making the pumpkin explode, we'll have to take it back. But I need a gold coin. I suppose I'll just have to come back to work tomorrow. Ah! Take the gold coin and don't come back tomorrow. One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! 
<laughs> oh, maybe I am quite good at being king. I think it's the job you're second best at. Really? And what job am I best at? Being daddy. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Thistle's teapot. Da da doo dum da di da. Dum da dum dum da di da. Da 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 dum da di da di. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly, but look... And don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> ah! ah! Holly! You've broken the Queen's teapot! Oh no! Mummy will be so sad! We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadoo, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben Elf! <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble, make us invisible. Hey, it worked. Come on. <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da. There's Nanny. Ben, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother. My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes. Elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mum. This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, 
brushes and glitter. Oh goody! First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm, it had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think it was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. There's Nanny. Go on, ask her for a spell. Nanny, please can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny, a little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin. And she lives far away, and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is is that bad? Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it. And I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh. Oh, no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh. I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. 
just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No. This is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. Promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it forever.